Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams, and we're going to look at a scatter plot that's created with a categorical variable, in other words, a qualitative variable. And so what we're going to do is we're going to encode the categorical variable through point color. By giving each point a distinct color, we're going to be able to easily show its membership to a respective category. I have data concerning 10 countries, and I have life expectancy and birth rate. And my categorical or qualitative variable is development. So I have six countries that are considered to be developing, and I have four countries that are developed. And that is how I'm going to group them. I'm going to put my six developing countries in one category and developed in another. So. Let's see how we do that. So I'm going to come up to insert and I'm going to insert a scatter plot. And I want this to be just in an empty cell because it's really such just a placeholder. I'm going to come up to chart design and from there I'm going to check select data. I'm going to come to my data source and I'm going to say add and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a series name and this is going to be developing. So I just clicked on developing. <clears throat> I want to put my life expectancy as my X variable along my horizontal axis. So I'm going to click there and I'm just going to collect these first six. For my Y values, all right, so hint, you have to backspace over this what's in that dialog box or Excel is gonna give you an error um, and I want birth rate as my Y variable and then I'm gonna say okay <clears throat> now I need to add my next group or category that series name is developed my X values, remember, again, I was going to put the life expectancy as my X. So I want these last, whoops, these last four. And again, I'm going to back over this. My Y values will be these last four birth rates. <clears throat> and I'm going to say, OK. So you can see that we've got blue dots for developing and these orange dots for developed. One of the things that we're going to have to do, however, is we're going to have to clean up um, our axis, right? And then add a few things to this chart because everything's all jammed over here on one side. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my horizontal axis. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say format axis. So my minimum is zero, which really doesn't make a lot of sense based on what my lowest value of life expectancy is. So I'm going to begin life expectancy at, I'm going to select 45. You probably could have done 50. Um, my maximum is 85. That's the largest, um, close to the largest value I have. And I'm happy with my major and my minor units, but now I've got to come down to number. Right? And so I don't want decimal places. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to backspace over that. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Now, next thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to deal with this font because it's so small nobody can see it. So I'm just going to go to a Lato 11 and I'm going to say OK. All right, so you'll see how our um, points in our scatter plot have begun to, to spread out and look a little bit better. Now I'm going to turn around and do the same thing for my vertical axis. I'm going to right click, format axis. Um, and my minimum for birth rate, which is in percentages, my minimum is fine, my maximum is fine, except my number is no good because I don't want decimal places. I'm going to enter a zero and hit enter. And now we look a little bit better. 
um, I'm going to change my font and I'm going back to that Lato 11 and I say OK and that looks all right but I would format this vertical axis over here my major units I think I'd rather go to 10. There we go. Now that looks like something, right? Um, I still have a few things to do, um, and I'm going to do that with my plus sign. And one of the things we need with these categorical scatter plots is we need a legend. And then I'm going to take that legend and I'm going to put it at the bottom. It's just a little bit easier to see. Um, I want a chart title. Don't remember, don't send your charts out into the wild without a title. And I'm going to say life, <clears throat> life expectancy and birth rate. Rates. Oops, birth spelled wrong. All right. Next thing I'm going to add is I want axis titles. So we decided that along the horizontal axis, we were plotting life expectancy, and that was done in years. And then we're going to change this axis title to be, typing backwards is always a bit of a challenge. And this is birth, how come I can't spell birth today? Birth rate in percentages. <clears throat> when your scatter plot looks like this, where you have a legend, where both of your axes are labeled and your chart has a title, then you're done and you can move on to your next um, adventure. So I hope that you found this useful um, and I want to thank you for watching.